everybody, welcome back to today's episode of Steggy Fish. Uh, I wanted to make this video for a little while now. Um, it's going to be about my Yakima Topwater Rod Storage Box. So, I made an original video of like when I first got it and uh, kind of like a little review, like what I thought about it. But uh, now I've owned it for a year and it's been on top of my truck for probably at least 60,000 miles driving from Florida all the way to Montana to Colorado. It really never leaves the top of my truck unless I have to take it off to uh, fit it inside the inside the garage to uh, do some maintenance on my truck. But uh, anyway, I've brought this thing all over the place to all the tournaments I've been to, everywhere I've been fishing. Um, and really the reason I wanted to make this video today is because I received this comment. I'll, I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to put it right here. But um, <laughs> this guy... What's his name? Keith, I think. Oh my goodness. Like, I'll let you guys read it, but I'm sure you guys can see that he's very unhappy with his topwater box. Um, he, th he thought that I was sponsored by Yakima, which I am not in any way. Um, I got this box from my dealer, Sun Jammers. Uh, he's, they're my Hobie dealer. He was under the impression that I was sponsored by Yakima. They paid me to do a review on this box and claimed that I either never use it or um, they paid me to write a good review which is not true at all. Now, since he made this comment, he's deleted all of his stuff, um, but doesn't mean I didn't screenshot it because don't come on my page and be ridiculous like that and expect to just get away with it. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna get into reviewing this thing again and tell you guys what I think about it after a year. And like I said, I'm not sponsored by Yakima. It's definitely not a perfect box. And I think there's a lot of things that they could improve on this thing because for like 500, it's over 500 bucks. and. For how much you pay, it really need, it does need to be better, in my opinion. So let's get into this thing. So I'll just kind of go around the outside right now, guys. Um, it might not be that easy to see. It's kind of dusty right now. Um, I do spray it with 303 protectant every now and again, just to kind of keep keep it protected because it's in the sun all the time. I don't know if you can really, if the GoPro is going to pick it up, but it is like a little discolored from sitting in the sun all the time. But um, really not a huge deal. I'll show you guys here on the front. The Acma sticker came off because, I mean, it just does nothing but catch bugs all the time. And I'll show you guys here on the outside. Um, I actually don't use the stuff that came with the box, the mounting brackets. I, use, I used them pretty much, pretty much the whole year, actually, until I find out that they make these little T-slot things that fit perfectly in my rack. And um, I, think, I think they worked out pretty good. It looks cleaner. And uh, it's a little easier to actually take on and off because it's only one bolt instead of two. But that being said, mounting stuff, I think it needs more than one mounting point because you can tell, like, it rattles when you go over bumps and it's a little flexible. It's a little more flexible than I would like. And on this side, there's a bar. There's like a support beam. On this side, there's no bar. I don't know if they came like that if they all come like that or if that's just mine but um i do wish it was a little a little more secure but like i said it's been up here for 60,000 miles it doesn't go anywhere it just kind of rattles when you're on rough roads all right and now let's get into the inside well that's not supposed to that's not supposed to happen that's one example um, of me not knowing how to put my rod into the box correctly. Like you guys saw in Keith's comment, he said he has a lot of cork handle rods and that the box destroyed his, his rods. I don't understand how the box could destroy your rods. Now, I don't really have any like full cork handles in here, but I do have one that I have in here quite often. I swear, every time I try to film a video, there's a car. But I do have some higher end St. Croix rods that have uh, full cork handles and I've had them in here for thousands of miles and I've had zero problems um, The thing is like I don't even understand how your rod could be damaged because it Doesn't the box doesn't break your rods. It's just like There's I don't see how How the box could break your rod it just doesn't make any sense to me now I'm not saying that his rods didn't break but I have no proof and I have not seen anybody else complain of that. But I will get into one complaint I do have about this box. So um, I know a lot of people have had problems with these springs. So this one 
is actually the stock spring that came with it and I haven't had problems with this one but um, a lot of people have had problems with this bending out and then it pops off and it, the lid is just limp but I'll show you guys the one on the other side so this is the one that I had problems with I kept bending it back with pliers until it broke and then I just bent it down even more okay same car drove by again so I actually just took a pair of pliers and bent it even more like further past the part that broke and uh, Yakima has been sending out new springs for people whose springs broke but um this happened like literally two days into owning the box and uh, after I bent it back I've had no problems and then down here I'll show you guys the uh, this is the T-slot mounting. So normally there's a bolt here or a bolt here, but the T-slot one replaces it with just one, which actually makes it easier to take it out. And I don't know if it's more secure than with the other ones, but I mean, like I said, I've had no problems. Now, another thing I did with this box is I put Gorilla Tape along this whole thing. Because you can see on the bottom, it's like open so you can mount it basically anywhere. But this thing, this box, I found it gets so dusty inside if you don't um, if you don't cover those holes, especially when you're driving a lot of dirt roads or doing a lot of a lot of driving. And I really don't want a lot of dust in here getting in all my reels and stuff like that. That's really it, guys. Um, there's not too much to this thing. Um, there's definitely improvements I would like to see them make on this box, but so far it has it has been great for me. Just you know, securing my rods keeping them out of the cab and uh, protecting them pretty good. And that really does it guys. Uh, sorry I had to film this on my GoPro Hero 7, not my Hero 8. I uh, left it at home. I just really wanted to make this video real quick to uh, show you guys my experience with this box and why I think it's good and it, it could definitely be improved for how much it costs. That does it on my uh, year review of the Yakima Topwater box guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. Uh, maybe leave your experience. Don't be like Keith, though. That was absolutely ridiculous. Like I said before, in no way am I sponsored by Yakima. I mean, not saying that I wouldn't want to be, because I have been thoroughly enjoying all their products. Their HD bar and the, uh, the Yakima big catch cradles on my Pro Angler. All their stuff's awesome. But just because I think their stuff is awesome doesn't mean it couldn't be improved. But if you guys want to see more reviews of all my gear and stuff like that, I do it every now and again. I'm about to go fishing, guys. Uh, you know, got the pro angler. We're ready to go. Hit the pond, maybe catch some bass. Might actually try to catch some crappie and perch because I found there's quite a bit of them in there. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button so uh, you guys can see when I upload new videos of all my adventures. Guys, I, I can't make this up. I'm trying to do the outro to this video. And there's like 47 cars passing by. Anyway, guys, I'm going to try to do this before 400 more cars pass by. Um, I hope this video will help you make a more informed decision on whether or not you want to purchase this box. Uh, it's been working out great for me personally. If you guys haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I do a lot of reviews on all the gear I use. And uh, you guys can follow along with all my fishing adventures. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.